So I, I'd love to hear uh, uh, what, you know, you've kind of talked about what your struggles and what your insecurities are. How do you create a space for happiness for yourself? Is it all in your music? Um, I have a really cute dog. <laughs> and a great family and a good husband. Um, I think... Actually, one of the things that happened to me, as I mentioned in the first session, that I became a Christian in 2004, and I had this experience I wrote in my journal of growing down because I was a happy kid. I was. I was like a little little twirling daisy, um, and I was happy, and I used to sing, and I used to play imaginary games and laugh and have fun, and something about turning 13 just knocked all of that out of me. I just went through the worst time, and I lost my way. You know, I was a bit of a rebel at school, completely went off the rails and started suffering with anxiety, really bad anxiety. And so I feel like, honestly, when I became a Christian, my joy just began to return and it just felt like a childhood joy that came back. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the things that made me happy really are very simple things, just hanging out with my family. Now that the sun's out again, it's nice to go out for some walks and yeah. I do really like my dog. You do really like your dog. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, and I'm sitting here wondering if part of that happy space has anything to do with daffodils. Mm. Well, yeah. Because it's mean... a song of yours, <laughs> and I was just given daffodils for the first time in my life, and I love them, Aww. but no one's, ever, no one's ever given them to me. I hope they didn't pick them from the side of the road because that's illegal, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. oh. You can buy them as well. Um, uh oh. Yeah, so this song... Um, the Daffodil song, again, has been an unlikely favorite with my audience, particularly children. Mm. Um, and I think the song basically is about just being yourself and not being afraid to shine and stand out because I think when you're insecure, the, the temptation to just hide away and hide behind your friends and ha you be a wallflower yeah. is so great. But actually, you know, we're called to stand out on the hill and shine and let the sun bounce off of our petals. <laughs> I love okay. it. I love it. So this is a bit of the daffodil song. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty daffodil girl, you're warm and you're sweet like the mid-July sun, but you don't like the attention. I guess those tall puppy fields made you doubt your perfection, but this is your season, you just gotta believe in yourself Stop wasting your time The world's a better place when you don't hide Everybody knows that a flower never grows Down in the shadows where the sun doesn't reach And everybody knows that the spring's more beautiful With flowers and bloom for all the world to see to me la 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 oh i think that resonates with with little girls and big girls alike yeah <laughs> i love it i love it this is our season yeah look this one life we've got this is our season in the sun you know and we've got to make the most of it every day and one of the worst things about insecurity is it is it prevents you being effective completely and for, so for me i mean you don't have to be the best singer in the world. You don't have to. There's only, there's only ever going to be one the best person at something, and it's all subjective anyway. But I'm, I'm really big on you. Don't have to be the best. You have to do your best. You have to do Shine. your best and just be the best you that you can be. Yeah, that's truly the point. 